This is a tutorial about making stereo 3D videos for YouTube or for your own viewing pleasure using Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2013 Plus or Premium. They both have about the same interface. For YouTube, it's best to upload a side by side uh, stereo 3D pair as you can see right here. That way people will be able to select their own color glasses that they want to be used. You could use an anaglyph, which would be uh, a single movie with two pairs overlaid, and that would work, but it would only allow them to use one kind of glasses. And the 3D glasses that are normally used would be red cyan for that application. It also would not work on some of the Internet 3D TVs. So the best format is to use this particular side-by-side -side stereo pair when you upload to YouTube. And I'm going to show you how to do that using Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2013. Okay, let's launch Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2013. Then we'll give our project a name. Let's call it 3D Railway Sample. And when we're done, I'll probably post this on YouTube so people can see it. Now we're going to click OK. Now for this tutorial I used two video cameras and so I have one camera that's mounted on the left and one camera that's mounted on the right and turned them both on at the same time, recorded the movie and then turned them both off. So they're somewhat synchronized but not perfect. Now over here I have the two files and we're going to import those onto the timeline. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag the left image on first and put it basically on the left. Now let's use this minus key down here to shrink down that one clip so it fits on the timeline just fine. And we'll bring in the right video file or the right hand camera. And I'm just going to butt it up against the left. So I got the left and the right and now let's zoom to the timeline window by clicking on this double arrow. Now both movies are centered right within the timeline window. Now this video clip consists of two cameras mounted on a train car and rolled along a track filming the objects going by and I'll just play a little bit of it for you and right now it's not in 3D. You can just see that. I'm playing the right channel right now and here's the left channel. So you can just see what we got. We're going to select both of these videos by drawing a marquee around it on the timeline. Okay, now that both clips are selected, let's turn the two clips into a 3D video. So what we need to do is go up here to Effects Then from Effects, go to Stereo 3D. You'll see the little glasses icon right here with the 3D glasses. Then go to Properties. Pull down this drop down and select Stereo 3D Pair Left Image First. Now at this point we're going to go up to the monitor window and up here in the left hand corner, upper left hand corner, there's a set of glasses. You can pull down that little menu and let's turn on the anaglyph display. Now when we do that you can now see how the two video clips are overlaid. One is going to be red and the other cyan. So we're starting to get that video look but nothing's aligned. 
So that's what we have to do next. So let's go to the aligning menu right here. And you'll see in here several items. The first item is swap. So if your video looks like the right should have been on the left and the left should have been on the right, you can just click this button to swap the videos back and forth like this. Uh, we'll just assume ours is right. Next, we want to do this automatic alignment, which is right down here. And if you click this automatic button, it will use the soundtracks in the video to try to sync both videos up. Let's click that button and let the videos synchronize. And you can see the progress down here on the bottom. Now it's calculating the graphics data and going across the bottom. And there we have it. You can probably see the videos are aligned or synchronized in time now by comparing the two soundtracks from each one. You can see these items on the timeline where the sound is are lined up. So that was done automatically. Also at the beginning when we picked uh, the 3D pair, the stereo 3D pair, the, the uh, video that was over here on the right was automatically put underneath the one on the left. So that was all done automatically. So now that we've done that part of it, we need to go ahead and spatially orient our images or videos. Now spatially orientating them is easy too because we got an automatic mode for that too. So we just click this button and it should spatially align these movie clips. And we can manually adjust these too with these sliders as far as horizontal, vertical, and the rotation we can do here manually too if we need to. But in order to do that you would have to put your 3D glasses on and see how the movie looks and then you can make any adjustments you want. Okay, here's an area with a roll of tape and you can see that one is a little higher than the other one. Well, you can come over here to the vertical alignment and just tweak that so that they're vertically aligned to your own liking. And the same with the horizontal. You can make them look uh, and the same for the audio. If you think the tracks need to shift a little bit left or right so that the audio lines up better, so that they're synchronized, you can do that too with these plus and minus buttons. So I can go this way a little bit or that way a little bit. Just depends. Right now I think it's pretty good because when I listen to the audio, the audio tracks sound synchronized, so I'd say they're all right. Oh, one other thing. When we do export it to YouTube, it's actually going to be exported uh, in a format that looks more like this side-by-side -side display. It's just a representation of how it looks, either in anaglyph like this or side-by-side -side like this, but it hasn't changed the video. We usually use anaglyph in the display or the monitor just for editing purposes. Okay, now we're going to go on and talk about exporting. Now before I export it, I just want to say that you can still apply all the video effects and transitions and use all the editing features you would normally use with a 2D video. So you're not restricted in any way in the way you're, you can edit the movie. I'm just not going to get into that here because this is just about making 3D and if you want to know more about editing that'll be in some of my other movies. There's two methods you can use. I'm going to show you the first method which uh, exports the movie to your hard drive. And what you do is go to File right here on the menu. Go down to Export Movie right here. And then I'm going to export it as uh, MPEG. Video as MPEG right here. And this is the same way I export any of my other movies. All this stuff is the same. 
I'm going to do a 720p movie here and uh, 44 point one kilohertz and uh, it's these are the settings I always use the difference is you pull down this drop down menu here where the 3d glasses are and you're going to pick side by side left picture on left half width that's what's going to work for YouTube now if I wanted to just view it on my own computer and not put it on YouTube I'd probably use anaglyph but for YouTube side by side is the thing. So I'm going to pick that and just pay attention to this path so you know where the movie's going. So you can look at it later. All right, I'm going to click OK. All right. Now sometimes you'll get this message where it says there's sections found in the movie which do not contain any image or move movie material I think they, they I think they mean movie not move movie material so if you click ignore that's just fine it'll go on and export it anyway or you can click jump to section and it will show you where that section is now to find out where the missing frames are you can go down to the right corner here and just ah there's the problem so as I zoomed in I can see there's a big gap over here so I can just take the movie and bring it over there and that takes care of that gap but let's just look at the end of the movie too here well they look pretty lined up so if one was longer than the other I'd consider changing that but we can zoom in some more uh, there is a little difference there so I wasn't going to show any editing but <laughs> we can just go ahead and edit that just take this razor blade cut that section and then you can delete out the video by just pressing the delete key on the keyboard like that alright let's rewind it or back at the beginning I use this button here to rewind and now let's fit it to the timeline again by clicking the double arrow down here and now it's fit to the timeline alright let's go and make the export again file export movie video as MPEG make sure this is still side by side left picture on the left half width and we'll try it one more time alright it's mixing down now you can probably see that right here on the status bar okay the movie is done exporting and because we chose side by side in the export for YouTube it's gonna look pretty much like this that's in the viewer window it looks kinda of strange and won't look 3D on your home computer but if you upload it to YouTube their processing will make it into a 3D movie and I'm gonna show you how to do that and as I said before if you want to look at it on your local computer you might export it as anaglyph display which would be like this and use the red cyan glasses to look at it you can also use red cyan glasses on YouTube but there's two other types you can use and that's selectable on YouTube once you get the movie up there now we'll be uploading the movie to YouTube in the normal method but I want to show you a way you can upload it directly from Magix and that's by going up to the export button and then click upload to internet and then simply fill out this form like you would on YouTube with your title description keywords category and you can make it private or public and then when you get down here pick side by side left picture on left half width and internet quality SD I would probably pick 720p so you could do it that way okay let's upload our 3d movie to YouTube the standard way so I'm just gonna click on the upload button most of you probably know how to do this but in case you don't I'll just go through it select a file on your computer and ours is 3d railway sample mpeg4 open that and it starts downloading 
Now while it's doing that, we can change the title. And by the way, this will be on YouTube. I'm going to make it uh, unlisted, but I'll put a link at the end of this video or in the description where you can go look at the sample that uh, we just created in this tutorial. Okay, so the category doesn't really matter, I guess. I'll make how to. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go into advanced and go down here. This is the important thing, the 3D video selection here. Right now it's no preference. You need to go in there and say this video is already 3D right here. And once you get that, another selection box pops up and you'll see it's side by side, left video on left side, which is what we want. Here's some of the other choices. But we're going to use that one, side by side, left video on left. That's what we need. Okay, and then we can just save the changes. Well, they saved automatically. Now we'll go back here and we can put in a description save the changes and we'll just wait for it to upload. Well our export turned out to have a little bit of uh, rotation in it that was giving us some problems so we're going to make some corrections. So we're going to go back into effects and then go to stereo 3D, the aligning section, come down here to where the rotation is and uh, I'm going to let John make the adjustments. Yeah, so one thing to mention though, right, is that rotation rotates both images opposite of each other. So it's it is make this roughly where it goes, and then I'm going to come over here and tweak it a little bit so it's to my liking. That's a little, uh, a little more. Uh, the other way. That looks about right. Now, that looks good. Okay, now that we've done that, the height and of the video has been affected so that our 16 by 9 size is not the same anymore. We want 16 by 9 and we've got something else. So we have to fix that. So we're going to go, still in effects now, but we're going to go to movement effects and we're going to go to section and See, this proportion here is not 16 by 9, so we're going to go down here where this uh, Keep Proportions is and change that to 16 by 9 Landscape. Okay, now we're going to position. Actually, we're going to shrink the selection a little bit and then position it so that we pick up the sections that we want. Okay, now that we've got that, let's just play a section of it and see how it looks. Okay. Okay, so we're going to re export it like that and see what it looks like. So we just go back into the export movie to video as MPEG. Make sure. Yeah, MPEG 4. And we got side by side still. And then we're just going to export it. Okay, the video is uploaded to YouTube. So let's have a look at it. All right, here it is. Let's play a little bit of it. Now this should be set for my red cyan glasses. Let's take a look. Yep, I'm set on red cyan. If you have some other type of glasses like green magenta or blue yellow, you can select them here. All right, so looks like it plays pretty good. I'm going to put my glasses on. Oh yeah, looks just fine. Okay, as I said, I'm going to put a link to this video in the description of the tutorial uh, so you'll be able to see it and see what it looks like. So I guess that's about it for now. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and gets you going on your 3D videos.